Hello, my name is 1950s, and welcome to my survival world. Today, we're going to be working on a big base with my faction, the Lost Empire. In this world, our players have divided into several different factions. And so, in order to become the strongest, the Lost Empire has decided to build the biggest base this world has ever seen. So let's crack on. base. Alright, let's give a quick tour of our starter base. This is our flag. And upstairs we have our sleeping area for myself, Dr. Beast Gaming, and Spendiggity. Our victory bell for when we complete a victory. And we have plenty of resources. We've started gathering all three of us. And, but today we're going to need to head out and find some more resources. For our base, we're going to need a quite a bit of stone. But because we don't have silk touch, we're going to need to smelt it all. So, let's head out into the wilderness. All right, here we are. We're going out into the wilderness. We've decided to make a quarry of sorts, a hole deep down in the earth. We're going to need 2,500 stone for this project, which is about 40 stacks, so just under a large chest full. We are going to dig out a little hole, and while we're doing that, I'm, we're going to talk a little bit about the base and our faction's plans for this world. So, as you might have noticed by the title of the video, it has something to do with the movie Star Wars. Um, this base will be pretty large, and it'll take a long time to build. And the members of the faction, myself, Dr. Beast Gaming, and Span Diggity, plan to become the strongest in the in the whole world. We have many plans. We've talked about some of the things we're going to add to the world. And we expect that we're going to be pretty powerful. And so we're going to begin to dig our quarry to gather the resources necessary for our base. And there you have it, folks. We're going to be right back with our resources. See you then. Very satisfying about clearing out a large area of stone in Minecraft. Just so satisfying. But now we have approximately 40 stacks, so we're going to begin the construction of our base near the trading center. Here we are again. We are smelting all our cobblestone we got. We have a little bit now. We've been going for quite a while. We're using up a lot of fuel. And we have about nine stacks of smooth stone, and we have to do all of this cobblestone in here. So after this is melted, we'll go up to the mountain and start to build. We've gotten a, a request to see if this person here is worthy to join the Lost Empire. And so we welcome YT Boom TNT. Uh, we're going to do a quick interview of him to see if he's worthy to join the Lost Empire. Here he is now. 
And so we interviewed him and we looked at his skills and unfortunately we decided that we do not need another member of the Lost Empire. And so he is going to go and start his own faction, which we're going to find out when he creates about it. And for now, we're going to stay with our th three members because we feel that we're in a good shape right now and we don't need another member. And so we are excited to see what his faction will bring to the world. And we're going to start work on our base now. After about an hour of smelting, we now have 40 stacks, approximately, of stone. And so I'll be heading up to the mountain while Dr. Beast Gaming and Spend Diggity gather more resources. And so we'll see you then on the mountain. Alright, so we have one and a half layers done and we're pretty high up so if we fall we're going to die um, so if you haven't guessed what it is yet you will find out soon alright so we have four layers done and let me know down in the comment section what you think our base is going to be Alright, so we have about one third done with the build and the new faction, Code, or the creators of Dangerous Entertainment, have built a second layer to the trading center. Alright, let's get back to work. So, after many hours of building, we ran out of stone, and so we are going to need about three more stacks of stone to be able to finish the build. We are on level 30 of 32 and so we're nearly finished but we ran out of stone of course so we're going to wait for that to smelt. And we have plenty of concrete also. Dr. Beast Gaming has worked a long time to gather the sand and die. Looks like Dr. Beast Gaming has tricked me and put my room in diorite, the worst block. And now we are on the final layer of the sphere. Once we finish this, then we will start on the exterior details and then move in to the inside. Now, here we go. This has taken me several hours to build. Most of the day. So once we finish this, we're going to head back to this, the uh, bunker. And we're going to ring the victory bell. Oh, more stone here. Alright. There we go. Almost there. Three, two, one. We did it! Yay! It's a victory! Hurrah! All right, let's head out and look at the sphere we have so far. You can see it just behind the little tower up there. All right, there it is, the Death Star. We finished the outside. We added the green laser and the black band. And it's looking pretty good so far. So let's head up to the mountain and get a better look of it. Here we go. There it is. The Death Star in all its glory.
is taking many hours to build, many hours of mining, crafting, and we're proud of it. Alright. And we've started work on the inside a little bit. This is going to be the lower layer where we have meetings and we have our map to plan our attacks and events for the Lost Empire. On the second floor, we're going to have some storage areas and at the very top, we're going to have um, bedrooms and some practice rooms. All right. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope that if you like this content, that you'll consider subscribing and liking the video. And make sure to leave a comment below telling me what you might like to see in our next video. And folks, I'll be back soon with another survival video. And we'll see you then. This is 1950s, signing off.